uh, Coach Warhop is going to be very detailed. You know, he's, he's about his work, you know, each and every day. You know, he's a laid-back coach, but when it's time to get after it, he gets after it. He gets after it. He, he's never going to change, never going to bust for anybody. He's going to be him each and every day, and that's what I respect about him. You know, uh, I feel like it's you know, more physical, you know, being trying to be exact mentally, not a lot of screw-ups, you know. And uh, I put, off, every office line probably would, would say this, but run, running the ball, being physical as you can in the run game is some, something I look forward to. You know, it was very, very, very welcoming, very welcoming. And I, I respected it so much when I came in the door. You know, it, it was a team that was, you know, asking me so many questions about me, what I need, this and that, and, you know, something I really didn't have, and I really uh, respect that a lot. AJ, how would you describe the process of developing chemistry with the guys that you play next to? Uh, you know, being in the offensive line room, you know, uh, offensive lines really don't change as far as their personality, and that's what I like you know, when I came into the room. You know, you had – guys with some of the characteristics that I'm used to and an offensive line group, man. There's a lot of interesting people in the room. But uh, all those guys are really, really cool, and it's really been really been a great uh, two and a half, two months here right, so far. Oh, no, I love Davis. You know, he's humble, laid, laid back, don't really talk much, but he's very, very, very cool quarterback. I got a lot of respect for Davis. You see the similarities between Davis and your quarterback from last year? Trevor Lawrence? Uh, you know, Trevor was a was a quiet dude. Quiet. He was, he was a leader, didn't really – need to speak unless you have to, you know, and that's what I, you know, I kind of see a little bit in Davis really, really doesn't talk much, but when he gets in the huddle, you can see he's very poised and very confident in what he's doing, and I love that about a quarterback. AJ, it's been a minute since you were a rookie, like you came from the SEC in South Carolina with a guy like Kenyon. Is there a certain level of expectation of what you've seen in those type of practices to where you should be able to transition from those? You know, uh, a guy being drafted where, where Kenyon was, there's going to be a lot of uh, expectation of him, but uh me, and I was telling them to just take it day by day, you know, try to get better each and every day. You know, they're going to expect a lot, out of, a lot out of them, but, you know, just be who, he, be who he is in every day, every day. That's who he's been, you know, a humble, quiet kid. He's been working hard for the past two weeks he's been here, and I think he's going to be a hell of a player. Hey, Jay, what was it like to see for the group to see 95% of the roster? Oh, man, it feels good. It, it feels good, you know, see most of the team here. Everybody wants to be here. Everybody's getting better. Everybody's contributing. And that's what you want in these early parts of the OTAs, getting ready for the season to roll around. Uh, like I told him earlier, early, you know, Coach Hop is a—he's going to be who he is. You know, he's going to be a, a very disciplined, very, very detailed coach, and he's never going to switch that up. He's going to be the same each and every day. And like I told him, that's what I like out of office office line coach. He, he he's one of the reasons I step I step up to be here. But you know, uh, I, there's a lot of people here that I that I have you know know decently, and uh, I, I felt like it, it was time to make a change, and I felt like this would be a, a good change for me, and, I, and I've been liking the vibe so far, and I, and I love what's going on. I love the situation right now. Hey, Jay, what's, your, what's your impression of Lovey Smith so far from a head coach standpoint, been in the NFL for a long time? Uh, you know, uh, I spoke to Lovey a little bit on the phone when I when I made the decision to come. You know, he kind of reminded me of myself a little bit, really laid back, quiet coach. He really doesn't say much, but you can tell he's, he's got a little spark about him. You, you don't want to piss him off, so kind of I kind of like him to stay cool and quiet. I don't want to make I don't want to make him mad. Different vibe from previous years. You had some coaches. Yeah, yeah, a little, little different vibes. What stands out to you about the Hamilton offense? Uh, he 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 knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. Uh, he's he's a very detailed coach. You know, he he shares a lot of information, but he makes sure we all know what we're doing. Uh, each and every day, no matter what it is, uh, something small, new, something small going in, something big going in. He's going to make sure we have a meeting and make sure everybody's on the right page, and that's that's what you need out of the offense coordinator. From looking at it from a defensive side of football, just being able to go up against some of these guys the last couple years in Jacksonville, does that kind of give you a little bit of a role as a teacher and they can see what they were missing when going up against you? Uh, you know, when that when that time rolls around, I'm pretty sure the guys in the group are going to ask me, you know, how's this guy, how's that guy, and I'm pretty and I'm pretty sure those guys know me down there. So it'd be it'd be a hell of a game to get prepared for, and I know it'd be, you know, same for those guys on the other side of the ball in Jacksonville. You had an injury last year. Could you just tell us about your the process of recovery and kind of what you're going through over the last year? Uh, you know, it's my first time being uh being injured. You know, missing having a surgical injury injury missing. You know, majority of the season and my first time. Since I've been playing ball since six, you know, it was a little different for me, but uh, but I think it was something that it was gave me a lot to think about, you know. But now I'm, I'm feeling feeling really good. Been out here with the guys, doing everything, uh, involved involving everything, and I've been feeling really really good right now. And I can't you know can't wait to get out there and and, and show what I can do.
Let's go.